And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of The Flash Season 5 Episode 12. This episode kind of reminded me of watching an episode of um, Smallville if you guys remember anything of Smallville I think it was Season 5 or 6. Something happens to Lex Luthor and then Barry, uh, Clark had to go to his mind and it went all topy turvy. So the team literally decided that they decide, well, we can't defeat Takeda, so let's see if we can wake up his niece and maybe she could be that light that touches his heart and says, don't do this anymore. Well, you know, when things like that happen because of brilliant ideas from Barry, he always goes bad. So they decided to hook, hook um, um, the niece into the machine that Wells created or brought back from his earth. And Nora decides, you know what, let me do this myself. Let me go in there. Maybe I can bring her out. You know, kid to kid kind of way. Because Nora kind of acts like a kid. Especially when she's around her parents. And she figures, let me go in there and see what I can do. And of course, when she goes into the mind, things start to go a little haywire and a little bit troubling. Well, Hope comes in there to save her. Nothing then. Then Mommy and Daddy, of course. Why Iris had to go in there? She was pretty much the most useless thing in the thing, but like I said, I'm not going to bash on Iris this season. Not, not until the end of the season, so I'll, I'll hold that off. But whatever, she went in there, Barry had to go in there, but they end up kind of crisscrossing each other, and they end up in Nora's mind. So we got to see little Nora going, sneaking off into the Flash Museum. Barry, of course... You know, geeking out that he's got bobbleheads, he's got flash rings. He literally goes, walks into like the Flash Museum's gift shop. So he's all freaking out. He's all having fun with it. Iris is like there. So, okay. And then, you know, you do see Nora as a little kid. You see some couple of villains in the Flash Museum. Even villains that we haven't even seen yet. And we got a little tease of um, Red Speed. I mean, sorry, Red Def. I, I apologize, Red Def. Um, we get we get a name drop of him um, from one of the videos saying that Cicada was a lot worse than Zoom killing people and Red Def. If you don't know who Red Def is, he's another Earth villain and it's actually Batman who's a villain and he kind of has super speed and all that stuff and he goes psycho and he pretty much kills everybody. He has He's the most fastest person on the planet. I know, it's very weird, but um, maybe that will be foreshadowing a future villain. I doubt it will be a Batman type villain, but it will probably be a Flash villain. Maybe Barry from another universe comes in, be a psycho, and who knows. But maybe season five, six, seven, who knows. But um, that was pretty cool. We got to see a comic book in the, trailer, in the episode where it was actually the Cicada first issue. That was cool. And the whole episode was just them literally try, trying to find Nora, but also learning things about her, why, why she's so distant from her own mother. And of course, Nora was trying to find out about Takeda's niece. And then we find out she ain't so sweet, you know? She literally tried to get Takeda to go after um, Nora. So we got to see that. That was pretty interesting. And so the whole episode was pretty much trying to save the little girl. And then we find out the little girl is pretty much twisted and evil. One thing I kind of noticed in the thing, in the memories, when Cicada was fighting Nora, it was really the girl as grown up as Cicada. So maybe in the future, um, when they never caught Cicada, maybe they never caught her uncle, and then the daughter, the niece took over. That's just my guess. But and then the ending of the episode, we literally get to see. That the little girl has powers too. We don't know what it is yet. But she got hit with the thing also. Because her forehead started to glow. So that's going to indicate that she's going to be a threat. Sometime down the future. Who knows. And then also. We got some kind of weird boring moments. With Cisco and Ralph. Doing bar scenes. It was kind of weird that episode. That part. And then of course we got to see. Iris bringing her newspaper to life. So that was interesting. So um, now we just got to wait to see what happens moving forward. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much and have a good day.